Over 36 million people live in Uganda, of which 16% are people with disabilities, most of which are children. Kosu Children's Rehabilitation Hospital offers access to comprehensive services for the physically disabled, especially children. With the support of donors, Kosu is working to restore ability and hope to the lives of the most poor and vulnerable members of society. Curing them, preventing disabilities, really opening a new world for child and uh, making them citizens of this country so they can help it to develop even more. If not, there will be a lot of cost, not only for the family, for the child, for the relatives, but even for the country. Located just outside Uganda's capital, Kampala, Kosu provides assessment, surgery, rehabilitation, and follow-up services for people across all of Uganda and neighboring countries. A network of collaborating partners have been able to identify, assess, and transfer patients to the hospital, allowing Kosu to take its services to all areas of the country and beyond. Patients with clubfoot, osteomyelitis, bow legs, post-injection paralysis, cleft lip and palate, and post-burn contractures are the most common cases that seek help at this hospital. Kosu offers free surgery and subsidized hospital stay to children under 18. Over 80% of clients receiving surgery are children. Additional support is available to the poorest families, so no child is left behind. The orthopedic department, where surgery is just an element of a rehabilitative chain, also comprises of physiotherapy and an orthopedic workshop which provides assistive devices such as braces and artificial limbs. This is where Justine's prosthetic limbs were made. As a baby, Justine's feet were amputated due to an infection. Her whole childhood, Justine was excluded from activities and limited in her mobility. Corso fitted new legs for Justine, followed by extensive physiotherapy. Justine can now walk, even run, help out at home, and feel no different than her friends. Things which have improved her and her family's quality of life. As therapists, we spend a lot of time with the patient. It's not just an arm, it's not just a leg or a head or whatever. It's a whole person. It's the entire being of someone. So in that instance, you actually see you're making a difference in the person's life. The Department of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery provides specialized services in the treatment and care of patients with cleft lip and palates, post-burn contractures, tumors, and deformities. Fred was born with a cleft lip and palate. It made it difficult for him to feed and grow. It made him vulnerable to sickness. It made it impossible for him to speak, and his childhood was tainted by the fear, rejection, and scorn of others. Today, after two operations at Korsu and steady progress in his speech therapy, he is a self-confident boy who is not made fun of anymore. On an outpatient clinic day, doctors at Korsu see up to 140 patients. When we see patients first, they come in with lost hope, no future. And after reconstruction, we get to see patients beaming and having a new lease to life. So yes, we do get a lot of um, encouragement from reconstructions we've done. After rehabilitation, Kosu's local community-based rehabilitation program assists patients to participate in community life. Working in surrounding areas, CBR mainly focuses on identification of clients, assessment, training of volunteers, follow-ups and referrals. Comprehensive services and the commitment and hard work of all Kosu staff are contributing significantly to the success of this hospital.